do want to send it back to Joplin, Missouri, a city that looks a lot different than it did when the tornado hit there nearly three months ago. Chris Raggy is back in Joplin. He was there right after the tornado. He's been taking a look for us this morning at Joplin's cleanup efforts and joins us again. Chris, good morning again. Erica, it's funny to drive through these areas, uh, the different parts of Joplin that we visited three months ago, to come back yesterday and to see all the progress has been made. It's nothing short of miraculous. They've basically gotten through the whole debris removal. 95% has all been moved out in less than three months. Now it's about demolition and then rebuilding. It's funny, right after the tornado, I think when you looked around at the massive destruction, you said, where do you start? Well, the people of this community started and now they finished. On May 23rd, one day after a huge tornado ripped through Joplin, Missouri, there was nothing but complete and utter devastation. The storm tore through the town, leaving a destructive path six miles long and nearly a mile wide. According to Joplin city officials, 4.1 million cubic yards of debris has now been cleared from business and residential areas. People from all over the country rushed in to help. An estimated total of 300,000 volunteers lent their time and energy, working throughout the summer removing the rubble and crush vehicles from places like St. John's Hospital and Irving Elementary School. Now, just 87 days later and $2 million in donations to the city's rebuilding fund, the Joplin community can now begin to rebuild itself. And Erica, the one thing that we did notice, especially over on 26th Street, which is right by where the St. John's Hospital is, what was just mounds and mounds of homes that looked like they were just thrown in blenders, churned up, and then spit out. It's now all gone, just kind of concrete slabs there and prairie land. And actually, even some of the trees have grown back. It's a totally different scene than what we saw less than three months ago. So the debris removal, like I said, is finished, but now it's about demolition and rebuilding, continuing to rebuild. The rebuilding is so important, but boy, that growth of a tree must mean so much on so many levels. Uh, you talked about the outpouring yeah. of, of financial support, there's also been a great deal of support just in, in the form of volunteers. Exactly. You know, they had about 75,000 registered volunteers that came into the area, but the real number was closer to about 300,000, maybe even a little bit more of people that just came into the area and just went right to different sites, didn't register with anyone, just came here and devoted their time. And, and it's funny, when we came here, just trying to get hotel rooms, it's very difficult. And you're saying to yourself, why are all the hotels booked? But there are so many contractors that are still here from all around the country. All the rooms are still booked around here. And there are, believe it or not, a lot of hotels here in the Joplin area. Well, you know, that is good news for them, too, because they certainly could uh, use yeah. the economy boost there. Uh, Chris Raggy in Jotham will check in with you again before the end of the show. Chris, thanks.